so before we start solving the questions let us see some important formula in this topic we have already discussed when a charge q moves with velocity v bar in a external magnetic field external this is external magnetic field from outside then it experiences a magnetic force given by the formula q v bar cross v bar okay and we have also understood that if this charge moves perpendicular to magnetic field so if this is the magnetic field and the charge is moving perpendicular then it starts moving in a circle the radius of that circle we have found to be equals to mv by qb and time taken for one revolution which is called time period that is 2 pi m by qb another very important quantity is the angular speed so when it is moving in a circle it will cut the radius this radius vector this radius like this line which is radius keeps rotating right keeps rotating so how much angle it covers in some time if you divide the angle by the time that is called angular speed so to find that angular speed what you can do if the angle is 2 pi matlab one complete revolution time taken is time period substitute this time period you will this time period you substitute here you will get qb by m try to remember this formula so angular speed is qb by m the first question here is a particle of mass 2 into 10 power minus 5 kg moves horizontally between two horizontal plates of charged parallel plate capacitor between which there is an electric field of 200 newton per coulomb acting upwards so there are two plates of a charged capacitor so think this is your capacitor they told the plates are horizontal so like this you have to imagine and there is a electric field upwards and that is a constant how much they have given 200 newton per coulomb direction is upwards okay now the particles mass is also mentioned let me write 2 into 10 power minus 5 kg a magnetic induction of two tesla here they are using the word magnetic induction but consider it as magnetic field tesla is si unit of magnetic field why it is called magnetic induction later we will see in later uh, topics so magnetic field is two tesla is applied right angles to the electric field right angles means either this way or this way right in the direction normal to both magnetic field and velocity whose velocity a part initially what they told a particle of mass 2 into 10 power minus 5 kg moves horizontally so imagine there is a charged particle let me use another color so this charged particle is moving horizontally initially okay so it is moving with this velocity so there is a magnetic field which is applied perpendicular to this electric field also this velocity also so there are two options either this way this way or this way so that they have not mentioned if g is 9.8 meter per second square so g is mentioned acceleration due to gravity and the charge of the particle is 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb you have to find the velocity of the charged particle so that it continues to move horizontally now if you want the charged particle to move horizontally then you don't want any force in this direction because if the charged particle will feel force this side it will go that way and if the charged particle will feel force this side it will go this way understood or not so let us see how many forces will act so this is your charged particle q electric field is there so there will be electrostatic force since the charge is given positive wherever is electric field there will be your electrostatic force so this is your electrostatic force now since the mass of the particle is mentioned g is also mentioned so there will be mg also mg also now if these two are balancing each other then we don't need any magnetic field right because if these two are balancing each other then why to apply magnetic field these two will balance each other and the particle will go in a straight line 
So let us see, are they balancing or not? What is the value of QE? 10 to the power minus 6 into 200. This is 200. No, electric field is 200. So 2 into 10 power minus 4 Tesla. It is upwards. Mg. Mass of the particle is 2 into 10 power minus 5. G value, you don't take it as 9, uh, 10. Okay, Here they have given specifically 9.8. So this will be 19.6 into 10 power minus 5, which I can write 1.96 into 10 power minus 4 Tesla. Now compare the values of electrostatic force and gravitational force. Check. You can see this is greater, slightly greater. No, this is 2, this is 1.96, 10 power minus 4, 10 power minus 4. That means you will need magnetic force this side. Because who is less? This is less. So magnetic force should be this side. So that magnetic force will help this force in order to balance electrostatic force. So we come to know magnetic force should be down. Now in order for magnetic force to be down, where I should apply magnetic field? Charge is moving this way. So this is velocity, right? And since it is positive charge, so current will be this way only, right? So you can put the second finger along the current and first finger is magnetic field. If you put magnetic field inside the board, okay, this magnetic field inside the board, force will be upward, magnetic force, but you want magnetic force downward. So it is very clear, you have to do like this. So the current is this way, wherever positive charge is moving, current is this way, you want magnetic force down. So magnetic field must be applied out of the board. So magnetic field must be applied out of the board. Understood? So this is velocity. If you apply magnetic field out of the board like this, then you can also use the formula V cross V. V, this is velocity. This is magnetic field. If you apply out of the board, then V cross V will be down. Correct? No. V cross V will be down. That is where you want magnetic force. So direction we have found. Now we have to find the magnitude. So now, for the particle to continue to move horizontally, for the particle to move, to continue to move horizontally, the total force in this direction should be zero, so that it will not go this way or that way. So QE should be balanced by magnetic force plus mg. QE is 2 into 10 power minus 4, right? Magnetic force formula is QVB. What is the angle? Velocity is here, magnetic field is out. So angle is 90 degree. So sin 90, no need to write, plus mg. mg we calculated, right? 1.96 into 10 power minus 4. Let us bring 1.96 this side. So it will be 2 minus 1.96 into 10 to the power minus 4 equal to QVB. So V will be 2 minus 1.96 will be 4 0 0.0, right? 0 0.04 into 10 power minus 4 divided by QV. Now what was the value of the charge given? Value of the charge given was 10 to the power minus 6. And what is the magnetic field given to Tesla? So this 2 will this 0 0.04 divided by 2 will be 0 0.02 into minus 6 will go plus 6 plus 6 minus 4 will be plus 2. This much meter per second will become 2 meter per second. This is the answer option A. See question number 2. A particle of specific charge, so Q by M is pi they have given. Coulomb per kg is the unit. Is projected from the origin towards x positive x axis with a velocity of 10 meter per second. So this is x axis, this is origin. So from the origin, they are sending a charged particle, they are throwing a charged particle which has charge by mass ratio pi with some velocity 10 meter per second. Let us write V. So velocity is 10 meter per second. In a uniform magnetic field, 
which is equals to minus 2 k cap tesla. So since it is 2, it is a constant and direction is minus k cap. Minus k cap means along negative z axis. The velocity vector of the particle after time t equals to 1 by 12 seconds theta. Now you know that speed of the particle does not change if there is only magnetic field. In this problem there is only magnetic field. So speed will not change but velocity vector will change. So they want velocity vector in the form of components. If you see the options there is x component i cap plus y component j cap. So this is x axis. So let us say this is your y axis then your z axis will be here. So this will be your z axis. Okay, so this will be your z axis out of the board. Now, magnetic field is applied minus k cap. No, so it will be into the board. So, this is magnetic field everywhere. So, what will happen? This charge particle is moving perpendicular to magnetic field. Magnetic field is here. Charge particle is moving like this perpendicular to magnetic field. So, it will move in circle around the magnetic field. Now, it can be either this circle this circle or it can be this circle. So, which circle that depends on the where is the magnetic force. So, velocity is here, magnetic field is here, apply V cross B. So, V cross B will be upwards. Since it is positive charge, you can directly apply V cross B or you can use Fleming's left hand rule. So, magnetic force is like this. So, center of the circular path will be somewhere here, right, in this line. So, it will go in this circle. Okay, it will go in this, in this kind of circle with this as center. So, now the question is where exactly the particle will be after this much time that we have to find. So, for that what we will do, we will see how much angle this radius vector, see this radius from here to here is radius because this is center. So, how much angle this radius will turn, let us calculate that. So, for calculating the angle turned by the radius because imagine this is the circle. So, initially the particle was going this way, right? So, here was your radius. So, after 1 by 12 second, I want to know the particle is here or here or here or here or here or here. Who knows? It may be back here also. If the time is equal to time period, then it will come back here. So, we have to check how much angle this radius will turn. To find that, what is the formula for angle turn? Omega into time taken because omega is angle by time. Omega formula is this remember. So, omega formula is q b by m into time taken. What is the value of q by m they get? Pi. So, q by m is pi. Magnetic field only magnitude. Okay, This is magnitude. It's 2. No need to write minus. Minus is when you write the direction also. So, magnitude will be 2. Modulus will be 2. Time taken is 1 by 12. So, this will be pi by 6. 5 by 6 means 30 degree. So, this radius will turn by 30 degree here. Understood or not? So, this part, this radius here will be somewhere here. Okay. This does not look like radius I know. So, let me try to draw a circle like this. It may not be exact but that is okay. Right. Okay. So, this radius will turn by 30 degree. Now look carefully. Here the speed is v in this direction, tangent to the circle. So when it reaches here, its speed will be v only. Speed will be v only, but direction will be always along the tangent of the path. That is how we find velocity of any moving particle. Find the path, draw the tangent at a point. So this is the tangent. So now you see, this is radius, this is tangent, they are perpendicular. This is radius, this is tangent because this is velocity. So, they are also perpendicular. So, it is very clear that if this is 30 degree, this angle will be also 30 degree. Correct or not? So, therefore, you can find the components of this velocity. So, x component will be here, y component will be here. That is how we find components. So, what will be your x component? V cos theta. What was V? 10. 
angle is 30 degree v cos 30 will be cos 30 is root 3 by 2 so this is 5 root 3 meter per second that is the x component of the velocity after what time 1 by 12 then what will be y component of velocity v sin theta this will be your v sin theta right which is 30 degree so the main thing here is what the angle by which the radius will turn is the same angle by which the velocity vector will turn. So, if the velocity was here, now it will be here making 30 degree with x axis. And once you know angle made by any vector with x axis, you can easily find its components. So, what will be Vy? Vy will be V sin theta. So, 10 into 30 degree theta is 30 degree sin 30 is half. So, it will be 5. So, once we know the x component and y component of velocity, velocity vector how will you write? Vx i cap plus Vy j cap. So, velocity vector will be 5 root 3 i cap plus 5 j cap. So, you can take 5 common and that would be the answer. Option B. Take 5 common, you will get option B. In the same question, they could have asked you where is the particle where is the particle means what is the position of the particle with respect to origin so let us try to see that also this is x this is y it starts with a velocity v like this if nothing is done it will continue straight but here we are applying perpendicular magnetic field so there will be magnetic force like this so it will go in a circle let me draw a bigger circle So now let us say after some time t it is here, after some time t, then this radius will turn by some angle theta and if you are given the time you can find the angle by using omega t, omega you know already. So given the time you can find this angle, right. Now if they want position means this you want, where it is. So you want the x coordinate and the y coordinate. So, this is the y coordinate. Here also I can write, no? this is the y coordinate. Now, how will you find x coordinate? This is radius. Remember, center is somewhere here. So, x coordinate to find, you just draw this line. And this is your theta. Right? So, you can see, this is a right angle triangle, this is 90 degree. So, this x coordinate is the opposite side of this angle. So, x coordinate will be r sin theta. Because this is theta, the angle turned by the radius which is given by this formula and this coordinate, this coordinate x will be this only and this is opposite side of this angle and this is also radius r. This is radius, no? Hypotenuse is radius. So, r you know, theta you know from here, substitute here, you will get x. And if you, r formula, if you forgot, then this is the formula mv by qv. So, x will be given by this formula. What about y? Why is this? Now look here. This whole thing is radius. What is this? Only this part if I ask. This is the adjacent side of this triangle. So this adjacent side will be R hypotenuse cos theta. So this whole thing is radius. So from radius if you subtract this, you will get this. So this will be radius minus radius cos theta. So R common 1 minus cos theta. So, in the previous problem, theta was 30 degree, yes or no, radius you calculate using this formula, m by q was given. So, you can find x coordinate and y coordinate. Let us see the next question now. A particle of charge q and mass m starts moving from the origin, starts moving from the origin, okay, starts under the action of an electric field, which is E naught I cap. So, electric field is also there this time. And magnetic field is also there, B naught I cap. So, very interesting. Both the fields are along x axis. So, please understand this is not crossed electric field and magnetic field. These are parallel. The speed of the particle becomes 2 V naught after what time? So, they want to you to find the time. The charge of the particle is given as Q, mass is given as M. 
initial speed is v naught okay so initial velocity they have mentioned v naught j this is your initial velocity initial velocity so let's see a diagram once okay so this is your x axis this is your y axis this is your z axis but please remember it is out of the board now particle is moving initially in what direction j cap means along y axis from the origin they told so this is the charged particle moving with velocity g v naught magnitude is v naught no direction is along j cap y axis now if nothing was there it would have continued to go straight but here there is electric field v naught in x axis magnetic field this way so what will magnetic field do magnetic field will try to make it move in a circle so this is v this is b because this is perpendicular to magnetic field right so v cross b will be force will be inside so it will go in this kind of circle this kind of circle okay if electric field was not there it would have gone in this circle like this it would have been in the yz plane okay so if this is your yz plane particle is going like this magnetic field is here so v cross b force will be there so because force is there so it will go in this circle like this in the yz plane but there is electric field also so it will try to go in circle but it will accelerate this way also so it will go like this okay it will go something like this let me show the path like this and the pitch will keep increasing the pitch will keep increasing this time why it will keep increasing because there is electric field therefore the the velocity parallel to x axis will keep increasing so now what we are supposed to find we are supposed to find that time when the speed becomes equal to 2v0 speed becomes equal to 2v0 now concentrate where is electric field applied along x axis so only along x axis the speed will change not along yz plane so yz plane there will be no change in the speed because electric field is only along x axis and magnetic field cannot change the speed so mention that very nice very important concept since electric field is along x axis only vx component will change okay whereas your speed in yz plane will not change will not change speed okay will not change so keep this in your mind let vx comma vy comma vz be the components of your velocity final velocity so i am saying after some time okay wherever the particle will be difficult to judge where it will be wherever it will be it will have some velocity therefore it will have some components of the velocity now at that moment at that at time t okay at time t these are the speed now you know that vx square plus vy square plus vz square will be your final velocity square from vector knowledge you know that so final velocity square will be this that means the final speed will be root over vx square plus vy square plus vz square now they want the speed to be how much after time t they want the speed to be 2v0 so this speed should be 2v0 after time t so this one final speed should be 2v0 root over vx square plus vy square plus vz square now just now i told since speed in yz plane will not change in yz plane will not change that means whatever was the speed in the yz plane initially what was the speed in the yz plane v not only so that v not will be same afterwards also now in yz plane this is the speed no in yz plane so it will be root over vy square plus vz square 
So whatever was the speed initially, that will be same in the y z plane. Again and again I am saying why, sir? Because magnetic field cannot change the speed. We know that electric field can change the speed, but electric field is along x axis. So therefore, only this component will change. This will not change. So therefore, that component speed speed again will be same as initial. So I can write v naught square as v y square. Plus v z square. Understood. So wherever is this, you can put v naught square. Substitute that in equation whatever equation you can call this equation one like that. This is the final speed to v naught should be equal to root over this. We have no idea right now. This will change. Initially there was no v x initially, but later there will be v x because there is electric field along x axis. So v x we don't know right now. At that time we don't know. Here v naught square. Let me square both the sides. So four v naught square will be equal to v x square plus v naught square. So v x square will be bring this this side three v naught square. So therefore v x will be root three v naught. So something very important we have found. Who gave this x component of velocity? Initially there was no x component of velocity, right? And if there was no electric field, the particle will move this way only in y z plane only. So if there was no electric field, it will never go this way only. Yes or no? But since it is going here, it has some speed along x-axis. Who gave it? This electric field. And since it is constant, we can use kinematics formula. So v x I can write u x plus a x t. Right? Okay. Now v x we need to know after time t. U x was zero because initially the particle was thrown along y-axis. So initially there was no x component of velocity, and a x is due to only electric field. So what will be the acceleration? Charge is q, electric field is e naught. So this is your force divided by mass. That is your acceleration due to electric field. So v x we found. Substitute here. So it will be q e naught by m t equals to root three v naught. So after what time? Root three v naught m by q e naught. So you can see all the quantities on the right side were given in the question. So which option? So option B. <coughs> There exists a uniform magnetic field and electric field, one tesla and one volt per meter, respectively, along positive y-axis. So electric field is one volt per meter. Magnetic field is one tesla. Both are along y-axis. Both. Charge particle of mass one kg and charge one coulomb. Mass is one kg. Charge is one coulomb. Has velocity one meter per second and along x-axis. So velocity is along x-axis. And is at origin at time zero. So at time zero, the particle is at origin. The coordinates of the particle after time t equal to pi seconds. After this much time, they want coordinates. Coordinates means x, y, z, where it is, where it is they want. Okay. So let us draw a diagram of this. So this is your x-axis, this is your y-axis, and this will be your z-axis. Right. Okay. Now listen carefully, okay? Particle is starting from origin. Velocity is this side, initial velocity. Yes or no? Magnetic field is along y-axis. Electric field is also along y-axis. So we know because of this electric field, it will accelerate this side. There is no doubt because there will be force, electrostatic force this way. But because of magnetic force, since this velocity is perpendicular to magnetic field, it will try to go. Around the magnetic field. Now the question is, if this is the magnetic field, the charge is going this way. So either it will go this way or it will go that way. That will depend on the magnetic force. So let us do V cross B. V cross B force will be this side. So force will be here. Magnetic force will be here. Okay. So let us imagine in what kind of path it will move. So it was going this way. It was going this way, but force is this side. This is how it is going. Force is this side. So it will go in this circle, this circle. 
so the circle will be in yz plane like this okay so it's difficult to draw the diagram but if i show you from the top okay so let me show you from here what will you see it is better so this person will see what this person if you see from here he will see x axis here then he will see if you see from here x axis will be here z axis will be here right so z axis will be here yes or no try to imagine what this person will see so this is x this is x this is y this is z so if person looking from here will draw x axis here z axis here right like this okay so now the particle will go since force is this side it will center will be somewhere here so it will go in this circle like this however it will not go in this plane in not in xz plane because there is electric field along y axis here where is y axis here no here y axis is this side for this person so when he sees his y x his y axis will be towards him so it will go like this here out so in the diagram if i try to draw i don't want to dirty this diagram so let me try to show here this is x this is y this is z if electric field was not there it will move in this circle in this plane xz plane but because there is electric field here it will somewhat go like this like this okay it will go this way so let us try to see from here because if you see from here you will see only circle understood okay now after 5 second they told so let us calculate how much angle it will move how much angle the radius has turned this was the initial velocity so this was the radius so now we let us see as the particle comes like this how much angle it turns to find the angle apply the same technique which i did in the second question i think omega into t omega into t right so let us calculate omega omega is q by m b into t what is q 1 what is mass 1 what is magnetic field that is also 1 what is the time taken time taken is 5 second so omega is pi sorry angle covered is pi so if angle covered is pi it means it will be here understood or not the particle will be here because it was here and then the radius turns by angle pi so if, if it turns by angle pi this is your pi 180 degree then the particle started from here it will be here correct or not it will be here when you see from here okay be, be careful when you see from here so what will be its z coordinate this will be z coordinate first let us talk about x coordinate what will be x coordinate it has come back to this point so there is no x coordinate in in order to have x coordinate the particle should be somewhere here no if the particle was here you will drop this perpendicular this will be x coordinate but if the particle comes back here then it will be on this z axis when you see from top when you see from top you will see it on z axis therefore it will not have x coordinate so x coordinate is zero z coordinate will be how much since it is on the positive z axis see when you see from here this will be your positive z axis this one so when you see from here you are drawing z here x here okay so what will be the z coordinate since it is here this will be z coordinate from origin to wherever it is along z axis that is nothing but 2 times diameter sorry 2 times radius which is diameter and what is the formula for radius mv by qb now what is m m is 1 what is velocity 1 speed what is q q is also 1 what is b 1 so since everybody is 1 here this will be 2 meter now y coordinate also we have to find because it will not move in this circle only it will keep coming up it will keep coming up like this because of this electric field like this it will be however when you see from here you will just see a circle in xz plane so to find the coordinates of x and z you see from top it will be very easy for you now to find the z uh, sorry the y coordinate simple because we know y will be uyt plus half ay t square 
because this electric field will try to accelerate it in this direction. So, and since electric field is constant, we can use kinematics to find the displacement. So, y coordinate, since it starts from origin, displacement will be y itself. What is ui? Well, initially it was moving along x axis, so there is no y component. Y component of velocity is 0, initial velocity is 0. Acceleration will be qe by m. Time taken is pi d dot, so pi square. Now, what is q? 1. What is e? 1. What is mass? 1. So, this will be equal to pi square by 2. And since it is coming up, it will be positive. So, finally, what is the answer for the coordinates? x, y, z. x is 0. y coordinate is pi square by 2. And z coordinate of the particle will be 2. So, this is where the particle will be after pi seconds. Okay, students? Analyze this question properly. All the details I have told you. Okay? It may be a little bit uh, thinking is required because it is moving in three dimensional space. So, it is not just going straight. It is trying to go straight because there is magnetic field here. It is trying to go like this because there is magnetic field here. V cross B force will be here. So, it is going like this perpendicular to magnetic field force is this side towards you so it starts going in this circle in this circle right around the magnetic field so it goes in this circle but because there is electric field upwards the circle itself will translate this way because there is electric field here so the speed there will be a component of speed in this direction after it starts moving as you wait as you wait as this time increases the displacement along y axis will increase so, it will not simply go in this circle, it will go like this. Okay?